Hello orchid friends! If you have many orchids, your tap water is too hard for them and you have no opportunity to collect rainwater, this video might be helpful for you. I myself couldn't use my tap water for my orchids without mixing it with distilled water. That got pretty expensive with time because I need plenty of water. In my country one 5 liter canister of distilled water costs about 1 euro 50. So a while ago I have decided to buy a small reverse osmosis system and I can highly recommend it. As you can see compared to my hand it is pretty small. It is 18 cm wide and 33 cm long. It removes most of the water's total dissolved solids. Reverse osmosis systems can be used for drinking water purification, but my small, cheap, no-name system would not be hygienic enough and who knows what kind of plastics or plasticizers have been used for those tubes. You can install it easily in your bathtub like I do, in your shower, your kitchen, next to your washing machine or on every other tap. All you have to do is to put this tube onto the adapter that comes with the system. It works with water pressure and filters, there is no electricity involved. It takes about one hour for the system to fill one 5 liter canister with purified water. For every liter of purified water there are 3 liters of waste water which can be used for other plants, cleaning and so on. And after having used it you can remove the system and put it away under a cabinet. There are very pricey systems but mine has cost under 40 euros. I have a small device that can measure the electrical conductivity or abbreviated EC. The unit is microsiemens per centimeter and that should be equal to 0.64 parts per million total dissolved solids or abbreviated PPM TDS. By the time I bought my EC meter my tap water had an EC of 900 microsiemens per centimeter which is pretty high. The current EC is 575 microsiemens per centimeter that is much better. When I fertilize my Phalaenopsis hybrids I use water with 400 to 550, for my Phalaenopsis primary hybrids with 300 to 500 and for sensitive Phalaenopsis species I use water with 100 to 200 microsiemens per centimeter. The Vandas would tolerate more fertilizer but they get 350 to 550 microsiemens per centimeter as well. For my Cattleyas I use about 500 to 700 microsiemens per centimeter. So that was it for today, thanks very much for watching and until next time!